There's a growing demand for corn stover, both for cattle bedding and feed, and for making ethanol. But making good stover bales and preserving bale quality can be a challenge. So in this program we'll discuss how to make better bales and how to wrap them so they store and transport well. We'll discuss proper bale storage and we'll tell you about John Deere B-Wrap, the innovative wrapping system that protects bale quality from rain, from snow, and limits spoilage caused by ground moisture. John Deere B-Wrap is the alternative to indoor storage. There are three typical ways to handle stover for round baling. With the single pass method, material leaving the combine never touches the ground. This method generates the cleanest crop material and removes the least residue from the field. With the second pass method, the baler follows behind the combine hours or perhaps days later, picking up cobs, husk, and some stalks. This method allows for stover material to dry and doesn't require the combine to be modified. The third method, conventional chop and rake, delivers the highest stover yields, but it requires more equipment and more passes in the field. Plus, raking can drag root balls and mud, sometimes called ash, into the windrow. This reduces stover's value to cattle feeders and ethanol plants. Before you make your first bale, properly set up your tractor and your baler. See the Recommended Baling Guide section in your baler operator's manual. On the tractor, pay special attention to hydraulic flow. Set the hydraulics so the baler gate takes at least five seconds to open. This allows the bale to gently roll out of the baler without damaging the net or B-wrap. On the baler, consider adding corn cob filler plates, a cornstalk compression rack, or a side sheet enhancement kit to improve your baler's performance in stover. Then follow the baling directions in your baler operator's manual. Pay special attention to the roller baffle settings, windrow formation, monitor controls, and driving techniques. To wrap your stover bales, you have two choices, net or John Deere B-Wrap, available for most John Deere 7, 8, and 9 series round balers. First, let's look at net wrap. John Deere Net will work on most brands of round balers thanks to this core insert. Special ultraviolet inhibitors in all John Deere Net products protect the net from the sun's damaging rays. John Deere Cover Edge Net Wrap is a unique product that extends over the sides of the bale, helping hold in crop material for better transport and storage. Since stover is coarse and difficult to hold together in a dense, solid bale, Put at least four wraps of net on each stover bale. After you have set your monitor and made a bale, get off the tractor and confirm that four complete wraps are actually going onto the bale. Make sure wraps go completely around the bale, overlapping the starting point by a foot or two. Applying a bigger overlap of net does little but waste net. Consider putting a fifth complete wrap of net on bales that will be stored outside for a full year or more or bales that will be transported long distances. Another option for wrapping stover bales is B-Wrap. B-Wrap works with most John Deere 7, 8, and 9 series round balers. It protects your bales almost like they were stored indoors. Each roll contains pre-measured lengths that will cover one bale. Each length has multiple components. The first component is John Deere Cover Edge Net Wrap. Cover Edge pulls in loose crop material for a neat bale that stores and transports well. Next comes the structured composite material, Tama SCM. This patented material sheds rain, snow, and helps protect the bale from ground moisture. Next comes Cover Edge Net Wrap, enough for two more complete revolutions of the bale. When you come to the row of Velcro fasteners, you are at the end of one length of B-Wrap. Your baler will automatically cut off the net with about 10 inches of net past the fasteners. These fasteners hold the cut edge securely to the bale. Here's how the process looks inside the baler. The bale first gets one wrap of net, followed by one revolution of Tama structured composite material. Two more wraps of net secure the Tama SCM in place and help hold the bale together. B-Wrap will then provide a year or more of protection, almost like the bale was stored indoors. We, we grow about 2,000 acres of corn, about 75 acres of hay, and feed about 1,600 head of cattle, 
and we need to make about 15 to 1700 corn stock bales a year for bedding purposes. We made the bee wrap bales in the fall with the intention of let, letting them sit a year and then using them the next fall. In the summer, we went and checked the bales and we were shocked at how good they looked. So just as an experiment, we left them sit there for another year. And when we took the bee wrap off, after two years of sitting there, they looked about the same as a corn stock bale that had only sat there a month after being baled. We were amazed at how well they looked. The only thing that we did notice was a little bit of wicking action from the ground up because we had them sitting on heavy clay ground and not in a very good place to uh, leave them sit that long, but I was amazed. We shrink wrap a few every year, but the cost of shrink wrapping and the time associated with doing it, it the bee wrap is much more conducive. We have better quality bales, they last longer, and it's a lot faster to do. Poet is one of the largest ethanol producers in the world, and we're building one of the world's first cellulosic ethanol facilities in Emmitsburg, Iowa. It'll be a 25 million gallon plant that consumes corn residue as its feedstock. So we're working with corn growers to collect corn residue on their fields, and we use a process called second pass uh, cob bales to collect that, where we take about one dry ton of residue off the field and form it into to bales. As Embracos come to the table with, uh, with their B-Rep product, uh, we've seen some other advantages take shape as well. The B-Rep bales are definitely able to shed water much better than a traditional bale, where a traditional net wrap bale will absorb a lot of that moisture into it, and then it has to try to exhaust that uh, as time goes on, where the B-Rep just doesn't take on as much moisture. So over time, we see it slowing down dry matter losses. If you live in an area that's got a lot more precipitation, especially in the summer months, and you have that later delivery, B-Rep could be a serious solution that may help offset losses you'd see with traditional net rep. Um, it, it has that opportunity to, to be a more economical solution. As we talk about B-Rep and, and bale integrity, especially with long-term storage, you know, net rep tends to, to stretch a little bit and the bales start to misshape to some degree. With rewrap, we see that bale shape and integrity hold up quite a bit better. So just handling bales later on, transporting them on trucks, and, and their handleability, when we get late in the year after you've handled them four to five times, uh, we see as an advantage as well. One thing that, that we're really excited about with both Embraco and Tama is them taking the step to, to work on a technology like this and, and bring it to the table. Uh, we think these are the technologies that will help make our business more efficient and longer in the biomass industry, but it also affects all of agriculture and where bales are used. We just think it's a great, great step forward that, that's beneficial to all of agriculture. How do you choose between B-Wrap or Net? If you plan to feed or sell the Stover bales within several months, John Deere Net Wrap will be the cost-effective solution. Compared to Net, B-Wrap does cost several dollars more per bale. But for bales stored outside through the winter, B-Wrap will preserve bale quality much better than Net. The good news? Once a John Deere baler has been modified to use B-Wrap, you can easily switch between net and B-Wrap in just a few minutes. Just switch the net and change the monitor. Whether you choose to wrap bales in net or B-Wrap, it's important to store those bales in a sunny, well-drained location. To limit damage from ground moisture, you may want to store bales on a gravel bed or on large tires to keep them up off the ground. It's best not to store bales in shade or under trees. Use care when you are moving bales. Bales that are skidded along the ground or onto bale movers will have weakened or torn net. Drive slowly into each bale and then lift the bale high enough to clear the ground during transport. Anyone can make a good Stover bale by following the tips you have just heard and reading directions found in the cornstalk baling section of your baler operator's manual. You'll find additional videos about B-Wrap and other John Deere NetWrap products at Ambraco.com.